the important thing for me as a test driver was that the car was well represented in the game and felt and behaved just exactly like the 720S. In mid-2016, Slightly Mad Studios began the process of recreating the McLaren 720S in-game for Project Cars 2. With the development cycle of the real-world 720S complete, it was time to gauge the performance of the Project Cars 2 version. First test, I wasn't so impressed. I was impressed with everything but the feel and the performance and the handling of, of my car. In, in this virtual world. Talking to those guys, they use a different language. They, they're looking at the same things, but they interpret them differently. Probably more objectively than subjectively in a lot of ways than we do in, in Rokov. We operate in parallel worlds. A month later, I drove again and actually there was massive progress on some of the other McLaren products in the game. So there's an F1, there's a 650 GT3 car, everything basically that McLaren has. For instance, the GT3 car around Brands Hatch felt exactly the same. So it gave me loads of confidence that we could get there. But the complexities of the 720S are staggering. So it was time to bring the key figures to London for one final test. Our systems have traditionally worked around typical cars with, you know, passive springs and dampers. The McLaren system is completely active and it's adapting every five milliseconds, I believe it is. Um, so finding a way to adapt our systems to mimic what they are doing um, in the real car has been an interesting challenge. It helps tremendously for us to, uh, from time to time to work face to face and directly with with drivers or engineers to help calibrate our language so that we talk the same way and know what we mean. Final test came and we threw everything at it. We had guys flying in from America from the gaming company, we had the vehicle dynamics expert from McLaren Automotive, we had Pirelli test engineers, people that I work with developing this car in reality all around the same piece of equipment, all around the same software, all around the same calibrations, and it was fantastic. I hadn't realized really how much depth they go into, into the physics of the car models. The car in the game has the same challenges, the same feel, the same balance the same feel of performance and it fits exactly in the product lineup that McLaren has represented uh, in the game. I've gone from being quite sceptical, quite uncomfortable, to being extremely impressed with how accurately you can represent something that's taken years of development on test tracks around the world and we've now created that in a, in a game. The 720S in Project Cars 2 is as close as you can get to driving the real thing. I'm Chris Goodwin, McLaren Chief Test Driver.